And now, marine weather around Alaska. Welcome aboard. I'm National Weather Service meteorologist Peter Chan with your Alaska Marine Weather Outlook on the Saturday, September 28th, 2024. And this outlook is going to be for uh, Sunday into Monday. Starting with the sea ice, uh, of note, we reached the minimum sea ice extent back on September 11th. And so that means now we are in the early growth season, though it's been a slower process as we've seen temperatures averaging above normal along areas of the Arctic coast, but the trend for ice formation will certainly begin to pick up as we get colder temperatures here as we go through the month of October and deeper into this fall, but still some ice along the Russian Arctic coastline. Of weather note coming up, we have right now a collection of three weak low pressure systems. One uh, just to the southeast of uh, Kodiak Island early Sunday morning, another pushing in through the Eastern Aleutians, tip of the Alaska Peninsula, and then another one between the Yukon uh, Delta and uh, St. Lawrence Island. Otherwise, weak ridge of high pressure continues over the eastern half of the mainland into the Panhandle, though that feature will begin to erode and we're gonna be watching a much stronger low pressure come up out of the North Pacific into the Gulf as we get into Monday. So Sunday afternoon, we find what's left of, of the three lows. There's just kind of the, the main one crossing the lower Alaska Peninsula and that's not going to have much uh, consequential weather with it. Uh, it. It will be absorbed into this next low that's going to be uh, coming up out of the North Pacific rather quickly. Ridge of high pressure over the eastern mainland will hold in place on Sunday afternoon. But look at come Monday, uh, we are looking at a strong low at least down near 960 millibars, perhaps even lower. And this will have storm force winds around it and the frontal system that's gonna be pushing up into the southern panhandle. This low is expected to take a track east-northeast uh, toward Dixon entrance and has the potential of producing storm force winds, especially out over the Gulf and along the outer uh, areas of the panhandle coast. There is a high wind watch for Prince of Wales Island for Monday into Tuesday, where wind gusts could uh, be as high as 55 to near 70 miles an hour long, especially some of the higher terrain there. Also, there'll be some moderate to locally heavy rain, especially over the southern third of the panhandle uh, before this whole system finally slides out as we get through Wednesday. Another low dropping down across the uh, Bering Sea, but this low will not be as strong and eventually that energy will cross the Aleutians and the Alaska Peninsula and reemerge uh, into the North Pacific and Gulf as we get toward the end of the week. Um, but in the meantime, we are looking for winds on Sunday, still relatively quiet, inner channels, Southeast to south winds 10 knots, uh, Ketchikan up to Petersburg, north winds 10 knots, Lynn Canal waves just a couple of feet. The outer coast, southeast to south winds right around 15 knots, but that front will be coming in that storm force front. And at least Monday, uh, we're looking for southeasterly gales to 40 knots over the southern panhandle. And those winds will likely be stronger going into Monday night. On the backside, north winds gusting as high as 35 knots there. Uh, Stevens Passage and Lynn Canal waves building four to six feet as high as 10 to 14 feet here. Dixon Entrance and the outer coast offshore easterly flow 35 knots there. Sitka up through Gustavus and all the way to Cape Suckling with uh, waves uh, as high as uh, 12 to even 18 feet off of Cape Suckling. Now in uh, through the northwestern Gulf, uh, winds will be easterly outside of Hinchinbrook entrance on uh, Sunday at 20 knots, five, six foot waves, east winds 15 knots, Prince William Sound. Uh, as we go down through Cook Inlet, upper Cook Inlet, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots, but southeast winds there at the Kennedy entrance with 20 knot winds, five foot waves. Monday, uh, the center of that uh, storm force Gulf low is gonna be located right on the southern portion of the Gulf and North Pacific. But on the periphery, we're gonna still have the potential for some very strong uh, gales to storm force winds forecasting 45 knot east northeast gales outside of Hinchinbrook entrance off the Kenai coast and 50 knot storm force winds just east and uh, northeast of Kodiak City with waves perhaps as high as uh, 20, 22 feet out here in the Northwestern Gulf. Uh, for the lower portion of Cook Inlet, northeast winds to 40 knots, waves 13 to 15 feet there off of Homer and the main expanse there of, of the uh, inlet. And then uh, four areas around Kodiak Island on Sunday, variable winds to southwest winds 10 to 15 knots, 
waves just a few feet and then we find there's that low circulation of that uh, one low is talking about crossing the lower portion of the Alaska Peninsula circulation around it we're looking at 15 to 20 knot winds waves four to six feet north Pacific side four to maybe as high as nine feet there north of Cold Bay in the lower bearing and then on Monday as that low is situated kind of back here where I'm standing on the back side of it we could see storm force winds as high as 50 knots just off of Kodiak Island with waves upwards of 20 feet uh, and then north northwest winds is 15 to 20 knots on the bearing side and uh, 20 knots as you trail out along the Alaska Peninsula toward the Eastern Aleutians. Now in the Eastern Aleutians on Sunday, look for northwest winds right around 20 to 25 knots. Once we get out past ADAC, variable winds, kind of try and turn around more southwest to south, as high as 20, 25 knots there west of Kiska to Shimia. But with that other low that's coming in across the uh, western bearing, ahead of it, the frontal system, we're gonna see west winds, 20 knots, eastern, far eastern Aleutians. Becoming southwesterly as you work your way westward, those southwest winds will increase to 30 to upwards of 35 knot gales west of ADAC, and uh, swells building uh, 10 to 13 feet. Uh, out there in the western half of the Aleutians by the time we get into Monday. For Sunday, southeast winds at 20 knots outside there of uh, Bristol Bay, uh, 15 knot easterly winds there in the outer ports of uh, Kuskokwim Bay, and then north winds to 30 knots through the Pribilofs with 10 foot waves. Look for south southeast winds 10 to 15 knots along the lower Yukon coast and along the south side of Norton Sound. Winds Monday will be northeast to 20 knots out of uh, Bristol Bay, east winds to 10 knots, Kuskokwim Bay, southwest winds 20 knots around the Pribilofs, southeast winds to 25 knots, St. Matthew, and then along the lower Yukon Delta into Norton Sound, look for southeast winds at 10 knots with waves running a couple of feet. On Sunday, winds will be south 10 to 15 knots, south of the Bering Strait along the west side of the Seward Peninsula, northerly 10 knots in the vicinity of the north side of St. Lawrence around Gamble. The lower Chukchi Sea, south to southeast winds 20 knots, and then as we come on up, winds turn westerly Utkiadvik to Kaktovik, but increase from around 10 knots Utkiadvik to 25 knots there. Kaktovik, where waves could build as high as six feet there along the Beaufort Sea coast as we head toward the Canadian Arctic. And then on Monday, winds reverse, we're looking at Easterly winds 15 knots along the Arctic coast uh, as we drop down through the Chukchi Sea coastline. Look for southeast winds picking up 10 to 15 knots. Once you get uh, south of Point Hope, southeast winds 20 knots with waves of four feet. And then passing on through the Bering Strait, generally look for southeast winds there out of the wider expanse of Norton Sound south of Nome into the west side of uh, the Seward Peninsula and the north side of St. Lawrence Island. Winds will be generally southeast 10 to 15 knots with waves running uh, two, three feet.